Welcome back to the channel. This is Raymond Thorne, and we are back with Aelith Anar, uh, sieging out uh, Stretch and uh, the Temple of Hotex Column. Sorry, Settlement of Hotex Column, but whatever, you know, it doesn't matter. Uh, I didn't get any really responses on if we should be fighting more or less, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this kind of sit here for a turn. Time for at least to see what else is kind of around. Uh, I don't see any, like, huge dangers. Uh, no huge armies coming at us or anything like that. So we'll just see what happens. Maybe they'll come at us and it'll have a much more uh, better fight to actually do stuff um, on the field instead of trying to take over uh, a siege town. Which, let's be fair, uh, I don't really have a... I'll probably lose a lot of troops fighting it myself, taking a siege, so kind of up to you guys, but we'll see what happens. Anyways, um, so just released my Dark Elves how-to guide. That uh, seems to be really popular. Those how-to guides is definitely my um, most viewed product. Uh, product. <laughs> <laughs> uh, more like just video series. So I'm going to continue on doing those. Next one will be Norska. And then uh, we're just going to see uh, how everyone votes for those. Uh, you will see a poll uh, coming up here in a couple minutes. So stay tuned for that. And then we're just going to continue on playing these campaigns. See how well they do. And go from there, really. So uh, let me see here. I think all we need to do is set our little timer here. And I can be doing multiple things at the same time. We got enough gold. We have a lady to level up here. And, hmm. Yeah, we'll definitely take that upkeep just because she is a defense army. Because, uh, let's be truthfully honest, we won't be attacking because as much as we want to use her uh, army itself to do stuff, the duller trait just doesn't lend itself to our uh, army composition that's going to be working out early game just because we don't have enough settlements that are diversified enough to recruit anything we want to so we have to concentrate on what we want to recruit uh, so can't do any rights right now again we'll hit the intern because we only really reason why we didn't hit the intern and have it prepped which uh, you, normally I'm trying to get better at is because the fact that I was kind of seeing if anyone else wanted to... Oh, there's the Bane Dark Elves. <laughs> um, we wanted to see if they were going to uh, do anything else. Maybe... Uh, no, sorry. I was going to wait until someone else was going to perhaps uh, vote and say, Hey, yeah, you definitely need more battles. Uh, do it this way. I have a vote going up on a Kimler episode, I think the same sort of thing just trying to make sure that people are um, seeing everything and let people vote I haven't gone to like QT or anything like that because I just don't have a large enough fan base because mm, well I'm new hey you know just, that's where I start off everyone starts somewhere so uh, I'm never you know truly you know bummed or anything like that I mean I'm growing I'm at 75 subscribers on the day that this the video will be recorded so I'm extremely happy with that uh, I love the community that I'm building and I'm a part of with the SFO mod I should have been hitting fast forward I'm sorry I just want to talk you know um, timer your king calls it's war alrighty so hexaquadal hexa will toll how do you guys say that I always want to say Hexquadle because, I don't know, just because. Alrighty. Okay, let's go check our towns really quick because I do want to see how everything's developing. Pretty good uh, public order. Um, wouldn't be bad to have that, not necessarily for the gold, but the extra public order. But we'll leave it alone for right now because we are doing really well. Actually, let's see. Uh, okay, yeah. So we're... All right, military crackdown. So that, that means every turn that you go through, that will go down by one. So if we minus three off of this plus six, we're still positive. So I'm, I'm more than fine with that. We can concentrate on using our money else, other places. Elsewise. Da, 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 get the words going. Got a plus 11. And we have a military construction place here. 
really need to get my towns. Okay, we're going to get over here and we'll be able to uh, build maybe uh, our next research because currently right now we're stalling. And this is the downside of High Elves uh, that I feel that they just do not get their technology fast enough unless you, lo and behold, I have uh, the Archive, which is the first level building of the Mage's Conclave. So, you know, I mean, that's 4,500 gold and a Tier 3 settlement. Well, as you can see here, I mean, I haven't necessarily oh, been wasting my money, but we're not in the economic powerhouse that we'd like to be, which I consider almost all of Ulthmon being economic powerhouses because they churn out uh, armies like none other. We are joined today by Jasmine, the uh, Hound of War. You guys can see her. Don't know if you can see her very well, but we'll put her back here. Put the camera right there so I can look at it. Yeah, she is the Hound of War. She's joining me today. Uh, she has a habit of being too excited, isn't she? Yeah, she's, she's calmed down right now. Alrighty. Now we strike. Let's see. So we got a siege tower. The major fight will be the towers themselves, the two different heroes, the Lord himself, and those uh, storm vermin. Uh, oh, and there's gutter runners. Let's actually see something. I want to I uh, check diplomacy. Diplomacy is a really great tool if you know how to use it. And what you do is you can see how many settlements your enemies have. Like Harganeth has 10 settlements. <laughs> That'll be a slog. All right, Clan Rectus has two settlements. So that means we know where the one is. Where is the other? Which is it's probably up here, but that just means that there's a possibility of another army being built to uh, come at us, to, to do something other, etc., etc., etc. How much am I getting in trade? Trade is actually doing pretty good. And that is with just uh, Elven Artisan, Elven Craftsman. I don't got any wood yet. We're, uh, we do have iron. But uh, to really uh, speed through trade and how to understand that, uh, you can click on the trade tab here. And then you can see all of your uh, trading contacts. And you can see uh, what you're producing. So I'm producing 20 chests. 100% is being exported. That's the key thing I, I notice a lot of people not understanding. Is that uh, just because you produce 10 items does not mean that all 10 items are going to be bought from the one uh, faction that you're trading with. They might buy half. Uh, they will never buy all of it unless they're a really, really, really long-standing contract. Uh, that is something that I think uh, was really looked into by CA when they developed uh, Three Kingdoms. And I have spoken before, I'd really like to see a lot more in-depth analysis of diplomacy in uh, Warhammer 3. I just hope CA listens, uh, I think, to the community at large that Your they really enjoy holds. the diplomacy mod. Uh, I'm not at war with Nagarond. So, I'm tempted to let this go another round. We're not losing anything. We will upgrade that just to st boost up our economy a little bit. And... We're pretty okay. I want her defensive around here in these parts. Mm -hmm. Can't build anything here. Can't build anything here. It would be nice uh, to build the uh, Tier 2 uh, Rally Field in our beginning settlement. But uh, to be fair, we already have a Tier 2 up in Hag Hall. So why would we recruit that when we can just stand over here in Val's Anvil and recruit from it? And we don't even know what a Hotex Column is going to have. And that's a, a full garrison. Uh, so I'm tempted to let this go out one more turn. We'll see what happens and kind of go from there. And 
before I do anything else, I'm going to hit that times two speed. Check. All. In other news, I'm trying to uh, uh, tag uh, Venerous and uh, Total War and CA just because when I announce videos, I like to put it on the Twitter. Um, maybe someday it'll get bigger. Who knows? So far, zero. It's okay, though, because Facebook's doing really well. Discord, um, I'm in touch with a lot of people on the actual SFO page. And so many of you have reached out to me in the comment sections. I just love seeing that and uh, really enjoy it. No, you failed, failed. So again, thank you so much. All right, let's see here. Uh, can't do that. That doesn't help us, which we are just we just lost that one. So we're going to lose five. Ooh, okay. So that might be why we were – okay. I, th I think I remember kind of what's going on. Uh, no, I want to build. So now we're at plus one, and we're going to lose two. So we actually do need uh, this colonnade, which is going to increase our public order. This one's to a plus nine. This one's a plus six. So we're fine there. But we do want to build. And uh, let's see. Can we... Construction cost minus 20% is a very worthwhile... Uh, thing to get right now we have 10 and untainted three well we're actually okay on on taint and growth we're doing decently at 57 i explained in my dark elf camp uh, how to guide that growth is very important to elves because they grow very slowly that's very true on the high elves or dark elves or what else elves in general uh so we would like to get that discount just so that goes down by 20 percent definitely worth doing so here and then we do need okay this unlocks trade advancements but we can't i want to show you guys technology really why that unlocks that trade advancement but you have to have some of these buildings to tier three uh, to get any of those so unless you have a tier three something there's no point in uh oops <laughs> just no, stop it. Stop. Taking up residence. Your command. Sorry. I'm clicking way too fast. There's no point in building this right now except if you want some of these benefits, which, don't get me wrong, they're great, but uh Yeah, you know, I would rather either build that just so we can have the noble hero more trade. Or uh, we really need the archive. So we will definitely be building the archive here at Arnheim. It is kind of away from our thing, our, uh, you know, progressive. But it's okay to have a nice strong fallback point. And that's why I'm going to use uh, the Doom Glades as a nice strong fortress. You can't get around me unless you sail around, which I don't think there's any uh, landing points except right here. Which that's why you want to still have your home threat settlement. And then we can have this place as our economic place. So that's how you set yourself up to do really well. And uh, let's go ahead and uh, have our battle now. Uh, hasn't gotten any easier. So let's see how we do. And uh, I'll teach you some tactics on uh, how to take a town without, uh, well, really strong wall assault forces all right so we will definitely gamble because we only have, i mean you might as well right 10 out of 50 uh ain't much less that you can get from that see what i mean you might as well risk it for the biscuit all right start deployment we have two siege towers uh we will uh, all right so our two strong uh, spearmen units are going to be taking those walls. What I want to do is because you have these uh, kind of spec out forces, go ahead and put them uh, away from your main army. We'll even put uh, Elitha Nar because we do have the mage that can give the morale bonus. I talked about that in a lot of my how to guides. Give these guys a group, let them kind of sit there and wait. 
because what's going to happen is that we're going to draw the enemy army over to this side. It allows us to send this spec out force into the town, take the walls, and have a stronger position instead of fighting through the sludge of fire and everything. Okay, so uh, I want this one. Let's see. All right, you can't walk through there. Oh, no, I can't deploy there, so you can definitely walk. Let's actually... Okay, so we need one here. Take that tower. And we need one here to take... Here. Take that tower. And then we will put two units here. Two units here. Have the mage nice in the middle. Archers. We'll group them up. Group these guys up just for ease, ease of... Uh, Doing this, and we'll have the eagles kind of fly in the middle because they can get through and maybe waylay some of the units out there. And we do have our mage. Uh, we're probably really going to be hitting up Fa's protection. Um, yeah, really, that's really all we can really do for our units uh, on the walls. But we do have the bound fiery conviction, convocation, but you can't target on the wall. So as much as you'd really like to. I mean, like I said, I'm going to lose more units than I would with an auto-resolve, but I think you guys deserve to have a, a good battle um, every once in a while. <laughs> Alright, we'll just get our archers right here. You don't really want to be... Well, I don't think I'm going to be able to... Yeah, they only have that little EDB spot, don't they? I don't think they'll even be able to do that. Uh, what we got here? Storm vermin? Hey, I'm I'm okay with the storm virgin regiment being over here. Uh, let's get over here. Actually, um, fly over that way. Ooh, man, those archers got owned. What we can do here is we can actually not do anything. Archers. Quickly now. Swiftly. We need this. All right, let's get really close here. I give the orders. Understood. Onward. Spearmen. Swiftly. Archers, Asua, attack! For duty, without fail. Asua, move! Spearmen! At once. Ephua, bend to my will! Acknowledge. A pace! Oof, one may. You can go ahead and you can put that. Uh, unbreakable trait on these archers because oh man don't I need to stop talking and uh, just uh, get into the battle huh ooh and this is why it's like ow 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 Yeah, we're going to take a quite a bit of a burning here. All right, where's the storm vermin? Those are the storm vermin. Okay, well. Winds of magic rise. It shall be done. We will obey for our ancestors. Kill them! It shall be done. All right, let's get up here. As you say, without fail. 
It will be done. It will be done. I go then. It's uh what's what's her There is that. Without fail. All right. Now we got our damage dealer. Let's go hit the uh, warlock engineer with our eagles. My duty. Yeah, that'll break them. Archers. Now we can actually back up a little, a little bit with our archers here. We, we are wavering. Lakoi, Soraya, Ufwan Mage. Spearman! Each warpstone cash without yeah. question! To the fray! As your mage! As you say! Attack! Direct our archers a little bit better. We got the uh Alright, we got these guys on the run. Shadow you can get him on the ground so we can actually take advantage of our uh, ability. With me. I give the orders. Orders received. Kill them. All right, how are we doing? How are we doing? Not doing too hot. Let's see. Can't really do that because our army's kind of hurting here. Archers, move! You shoot these uh, gutter runners. Spearmen, loyal. Death to all. Spearmen. Mage. Uh, can't really get a good uh, spell off here. How are we doing? How are we doing? How are we doing? All right. Eagle, come back back. Orders received. Uh, we won't sacrifice those guys Quickly. just yet. They're probably pretty um Spearman. Asurian guides us. Understood. These guys can't do anything. Let's Understood. try and save some of the ammo. It will be done. Can we get over here? Onward, cooling the winds. Setting forth. We will obey. Without fail. Shadow warriors attack. Thundered. 
Rakoi! Orders received. For the king! Destroy! My duty! Acknowledge! A pace! Ulfwan Mage. Doing pretty good against them um, now. Like I said, we're going to take some pretty heavy losses, uh, just merely to the fact that it's a siege battle. And uh, you know, it's, it's you kind of get a little distracted with two different fronts. If you can do it well, then it's okay. My power is yours. They tremble before our power. To battle. Nagarith. Okay, let's uh, move over at least here. Advance. As you say, without question. What we can do here is we'll just uh, kind of break off a little bit because what we can do is just take advantage of our stronger um, character to character and actually use her spells a little bit more. I just want to shoot straight. Kind of like that. Yeah, see, that's what I mean. It's like if we can get in there, uh, our I'm just gonna keep going calling them spec ops. Shadow Walkers would, you know, they they did extremely, extremely well, but our main troops took a beating. Um, I'm now wor having to worry about uh, will there be a repercussion force, uh, things like that. She did really well, didn't she? <laughs> yeah, almost got to 20. I mean, all of our troops did extremely well, except for, I think, these guys. And, I mean, these guys just took a plague breath. Like, well, that was a really good plague breath. I mean, not good, but... Can't do anything more about it. I mean, that was the, that was the correct way to do it. All right. Yeah. You like those? Actually, I really don't, but uh, I'm definitely willing to try them. And I think. All right, this would be really good. Like, I really want it, but I think this is actually. Okay, enemy hero, success chance. Alright, I think this is going to be a really good one to get right now. Because we're going to have so many agents. You can see they're all over the place. I'd like to get that. So that all of them take minus 20 to be able to do anything to us. And we're in, you know, almost in the heart of enemy territory. Because we're not that far, actually, from... Uh... Oh, wow, what, what is going on here? Nagaron has been taken over by Harganoth. And Nagarond is now <laughs> here at Hagrave. That they were trading. Yeah, Harganoth will be a, a hard, a hard fight for us. I do not know them well. All right, so we could give her a chariot. Um, not too sure. Not too sure. Let's go ahead and grab evasion, because then we can start getting uh, banishment. Uh, the these. These are why you you do um, light magic are these two spells. Now, you usually say, well, that's why you always do spells is the last two spells. But uh, banishment is a huge spell, huge. And then uh, 
Burona's time warp is just a great uh, booster because it it's a uh, fairly cheap and uh, it's a uh, 40 meter effect range and it's you can put it on the ground and all your units get plus 35 melee attack. That is great, especially when you know we're using her really as a buffer for our uh, kind of meat shield. And uh, yeah, we'll actually get some cavalry here. Uh, we can't afford uh, silver helms. Uh, these guys have armor piercing. These guys have anti-infantry. <sighs> Tough call because uh, we're playing dark elves. I'll have to think on that. We don't have too much longer on our playthrough time-wise. Anti-large. Uh, I do love me some uh, horse calf. You'll see a lot of that when I do my wood elves. Fair warning: if you don't like horse calf, don't watch my wood elves. Just uh... sorry. Some iron. Uh, what I think that we really need is this right here, uh, because this is going to be basically uh, you know they're going to focus on, when we're at war. You know, look at all these guys. They're all at war with us. They're going to be focusing on this place. And um, we shan't give it to them. I'd like to get this as well because then we can start getting some more Shadow Walkers and Shadow Warriors. Uh, but we'll settle. We'll settle. Oh, we can't even get these guys. We have to have Elven Forge. So I tell you what can't demolish it because we just lose out and okay the melee's defense plus three so what we should focus on is while we'd like to have the forge we just won't be getting the forge we just can't uh, I want to get this the, the, the uh, improved uh, towers uh, bigger garrison so that way we can really hole up if we have to so we'll save our money for this turn let's see uh, can't do any of that uh, but let us, all right, look at these unit. all right, there's silver, we can only recruit some more spearmen, what would be nice is if we had a extra lord, but I'd be afraid if they'd be waylaid, oh, and, uh, that needs to be turned into, thought I changed that, didn't I change that? Thought I changed that. Yeah, I'm gonna wait. All right, all right. So here we go. This will work. This works. All right, we got our stone walls going, and then next turn we will have 20% discount on all our buildings here, and that way we will get 20% uh, off that uh, 5,000. So what is that? Mm. That's a thousand gold off, so I mean, that's, I think that's worth a one turn because then we'll get another thirty-two hundred and get the port at the same time, uh, which allows us to just start really pulling in the money. So, and then let's see if we can't get any really good. All right, we can get the storm riders. Fire also was moving. That'd be really good. Um, And then the White Lions. Unbreakable. These guys will be great to add uh, as a really nice... Uh, basically, you gotta, you got to get through them to be able to get through any of the anyone else. And one thing I want to point out is that Venerus and I believe... I can't remember his name. Uh, added this ability. Or maybe it's CA. I don't know. I'll give them due if they do, but I bet you that this is more venerous. Is where if they have a guardian unit thing, they get plus 15% uh, physical resistance, which is if you're near a lord or a hero, the hero gets 15% uh, physical resistance, and so does the unit. Um, so we're just gonna throw this these guys in here. Because they're unbreakable and everything like that. So we will have enough to get our uh, tower 
or the the, the, the mage's tower, and we'll just wait on the um the port. We can you know one turn because we're gonna have to sit here for uh, quite a few little bit just to re replenish basically back up to full before we can go on and take the monoliths and you know basically the the rem remnants of the Skaven that are probably up here I think I bet you they're right here uh, so we'll secure this land right here uh, we'll continue on making nice with uh, the undead over here and uh, we'll just get ready for the onslaught that will be uh, Nagarond and Harganoth. Actually, let's see one thing. They're at war with Nagarond, so maybe they'll be distracted long enough that we can, uh... Well... <laughs> survive. Anyways, thank you guys for so much for watching the video. If you like the content, please do hit the, uh... Subscribe, the bell button, all the buttons, and, uh, the bells only, uh, tell you when I've released another episode so you don't miss a thing. And then the subscriptions, I'm working my way up to 100. And then, you know, it's on to the next goal. Uh, my current goal right now, my stretch goal, is once we get to 100, I'll do an extra long stream. I'll try and plan out like a Sunday or something like that where I do, you know, maybe five, eight hours. I don't know. It depends on what the wife needs, right? <laughs> uh, anyways, so we'll go from there. And then once 100 hits, I'll maybe reach out to the community at that point and say, you know, what would you guys like for another stretch goal once we get up to maybe uh, 200 subscribers? Things like that. So, uh, again, hit the subscription button, the bell button, the like, and please, any point, reach out to me on the SFO Discord, uh, join my public Discord, uh, join um, Facebook group, Twitter all the things, all the things. Anyways, you guys have a great night.